Ah, <laughs> Felix the Cat. <laughs> I'm not like a huge Felix the Cat fan, but I don't mind watching some episodes every now and then. I mean, obviously, there's many, many variations of the uh, cartoon um, spanning, you know, decades, really. Felix the Cat is older than Mickey Mouse. I mean, some of the earliest uh, cartoons, you know, in the 1920s, they didn't even have voice dub over. It was like a silent movie, you know? It would have music, but anytime, like, Felix needed to say something or you needed to know what he was thinking, it would just, you know, come up on the screen with, with text. Like the old uh, silent movies. Um, but yeah, it, I guess, came and went. Again, over the decades, I know I've seen some cartoons from the late 50s. Um, I think there was ones in the 70s that this game is probably based off. Um, it also came back in the 90s, um, but I think that was like after this game came out. Um, again, not a huge fan. It's not something I'd want to watch all the episodes back to back, but there's definitely, you know, good episodes uh, from each version that I wouldn't mind watching. Um, this game came out uh, in 1993 for the Game Boy, although it's heavily based on the NES version, which came out a year before, 1992. I'm actually a little confused who developed it and who published it, <laughs> um, because there's several names listed as the publisher and the developer on Wikipedia, and then on another website I found um, they were saying that Hudson Soft was the developer. Um, that might vary between the NES version and the Game Boy version, but they're they're so similar that they're kind of the same game. And they're also very similar to um, the Wonder Boy. Um, not Wonder Boy so much, Adventure Island, sorry. They're very similar to Adventure the Adventure Island games, uh, like especially like 2 and 3 um, on the NES. Or on the Game Boy. I played those on the Game Boy as well. Um, but... So this is like a basic, you know, side-scroller. You got like a jump and an attack. But there's a lot of variety in, um, like, the power-ups uh, and the different level types. But the power-ups, like, Felix will get into a car or a tank and, you know, he'll go from having like a short ranged attack, like a, like a punch, um, to shooting projectiles. And then that also lets you take another hit before you die. And that's actually super similar to uh, Adventure Island and having the different monsters. Like, the different power-ups um, are kind of like the different monsters. And just the way you go through the levels, the length of the levels, um, you know, you walk out a door at the end of the level. A lot of stuff really reminded me of Adventure Island before I even realized that this was, you know developed or published by Hudson Soft, so... If you like the Adventure Island games, you'll probably like this game. There's a lot of variety in the power-ups, but not just that. The different level types, like I said, you've got, um, you know, levels where you're on foot and you're jumping around, uh, and you've got different power-ups for those levels, and then you've got swimming levels, um, you've got, um, like, flying levels, and again, the power-ups are different for those types of levels. So when you're in a flying level, you know, instead of getting in a tank, you're going to get in a plane. 
and then that's going to give you your you know your shooting attack um and you know on the water levels you're going to get um like you kind of like i think it's a dolphin you can swim on a dolphin's back and then that'll like move you faster across the water um there's levels where you're on top of the water and then there's levels where you're actually swimming so yeah, a lot of variety between the different level types and all the different power-ups those level types have. It's as much variety as all the different monsters would give you in Adventure Island. But yeah, Felix the Cat on Game Boy or NES, um, I, I guess, um, worth checking out. The NES version got, got really good reviews. I mean, Game Game Informer back in the day gave it like a 7.5. Um, Game Pro gave it a 5 out of 5. Um, so yeah, good game. Maybe uh, a little less known, kind of flew under the radar for me at least. Wouldn't uh, have expected it to have such... Such variety and, you know, good graphics, good music on the Game Boy. Um, it's definitely one of the better um, platforming games uh, on the Game Boy. Um, other than the obvious ones from Nintendo. It's like, you know, the graphically speaking, this is um, almost as good as Super Mario Land 2. Uh, nice big sprites. Uh, lots of variety in the sprites. And, uh, you know, all the power-ups look different. And, you know, different sprites for swimming and everything. It's all animated pretty well. And the music is actually pretty good. There's some good 8-bit, uh, you know, chiptune music in here for sure. Uh, so yeah, that is it. Felix the Cat for the Game Boy or the NES. Whichever version you want to check out, it's probably worth checking out.